Well, they're gone. And here must I remain, this lime tree bower my prison. I have lost beauties and feelings, such as would have been most sweet to my remembrance, even when age had dimmed mine eyes to blindness. They, meanwhile, friends, whom I never more may meet again, on springy heath, along the hilltop edge, wander in gladness, and wind down, perchance to that still roaring dell, of which I told, the roaring dell, or wooded, narrow, deep, and only speckled by the midday sun, where its slim trunk the ash from rock to rock flings arching like a bridge. That branchless ash, unsung and damp, whose few poor yellow leaves ne'er tremble in the gale, yet tremble still, fanned by the waterfall. And there, my friends, behold the dark green file of long, lank weeds, that all at once, a most fantastic sight, still gnawed and drip beneath the dripping edge of the blue clay stone. Now, my friends emerge beneath the wide, wide heaven, and view again the many steepled tract magnificent of hilly fields and meadows, and the sea with some fair bark, perhaps whose sails light up the slip of smooth, clear blue betwixt two isles of purple shadow. Yes, they wander on, and gladness all, but thou, methinks, most glad, my gentle-hearted Charles, for thou hast pined and hungered after nature many a year in the great city pent, winging thy way with sad yet patient soul through evil and pain and strange calamity. Ah, slowly sink behind the western ridge, thou glorious sun, shine in the slant beams of the sinking orb, ye purple heath flowers. Richlier burn, ye clouds, live in the yellow light, ye distant groves, and kindle, thou blue ocean. So my friend, struck with deep joy, may stand, as I have stood, silent with swimming sense. Yea, gazing round on the wide landscape, Gaze till all doth seem less gross than bodily, and of such hues as veil the Almighty Spirit, when yet he makes spirits perceive his presence. A delight comes sudden on my heart, and I am glad as I myself were there. Nor in this bower, this little lime tree bower, have I not marked much that has soothed me? Pale beneath the blaze hung the transparent foliage, and I watched some broad and sunny leaf, and loved to see the shadow of the leaf and stem above dappling its sunshine. And that walnut tree was richly tinged, and a deep radiance lay full on the ancient ivy, which usurps those fronting elms, and now, with blackest mass, makes their dark branches gleam a lighter hue through the late twilight. And though now the bat wheels silent by, and not a swallow twitters, yet still the solitary humble bee sings in the bean flower. Henceforth I shall know that nature ne'er deserts the wise and pure. No plot so narrow be but nature there, no waste so vacant, but may well employ each faculty of sense and keep the heart awake to love and beauty. And sometimes tis well to be bereft of promise good, that we may lift the soul and contemplate with lively joy the joys we cannot share. My gentle-hearted Charles, when the last rook beat its straight path along the dusky air homewards, I bless it, deeming its black wing, now a dim speck, now vanishing in light, had crossed the mighty orb's dilated glory while thou stoodst gazing, or when all was still, flew creaking o'er thy head, and had a charm for thee, my gentle-hearted Charles, to whom no sound is dissonant which tells of light.
Chosen seeds seem to the trees. 